Hi, y'all. No makeup on. Ugh, I shouldn't ever video with no makeup on. <laughs> um, I went out and did a little bit of... Let's see if we can lower you down a little bit. There we go. I went out and did a little bit of Black Friday shopping. I did it mostly online, and when that I did got some online from Walmart and some online from Amazon. So when it comes in, I will show you what I got. One thing I got today, but I left it out in the car so I wouldn't forget to bring it. I always do. Target has a 15-day advent calendar that is pairs of socks. My granddaughter is a sock freak, so I always do that for her for Advent. But I never see anything I think my grandson will like. But I found, um, I think it was $12 or something. It's 12 days or 15 days, something like that. I think 12 days, so about a dollar a pack of different flavors of hot chocolate. So I thought that would be kind of fun. I'm going over to his house tomorrow for... His birthday, we always have his family birthday party the Saturday after Thanksgiving because his birthday's at the end of the month. So, you know, just works. People are in town if they're going to be in town and all that. And at the last minute, I got invited over to their house for Thanksgiving dinner. So I was happy about that. Got to hang out with my grandkids. So what did I get? I don't even remember what I got. Let's see what this is. I got that... Um, advent calendar and I got whatever's in this bag. <laughs> oh, nothing exciting. Glass cooktop cleaner. <laughs> and then I have, I picked up my stuff I ordered last night. I went into the store and got some more stuff. I got three items and it was $20. And I had a fourth item in there, but it was $9 for a little pack of protein bars. And so I'm like, no, there's no way I'm paying $9 for six itty bitty protein bars. So I did not get that. So I got this, it's, it's got bow glue, baby Yoda on him, pajamas. And then the backs, just more of him. I love baby Yoda, he's so cute and these were $12 for both pieces, so that's not bad at all for some super soft jammies. I usually wear like a long sleeve v-neck t-shirt and those fleece bottoms, but I thought these were so cute and you know, the fleece bottoms are like 10, 12 bucks by themselves and this you got both pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you all mostly know, I'm gluten free and it's really hard to find gluten-free soy sauce <clears throat> because most of the kinds you buy like Kiko Man or whatever, it's to save money, they put wheat in it. So you can get, it's called Tamari and it's 100% soy, but it's expensive and hard to find. You have to go to like, like a Whole Foods or Sprouts or someplace like that. So I saw this and I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, but I'm afraid, but we'll see. <laughs> it's soy protein seasoning, liquid aminos. It's supposed to taste like soy sauce, but I don't know. But got this big old bottle for like five dollars, and with that tamari stuff, you get like probably a bottle half this size for like six, seven bucks. So this is a whole what is it? A pint, quart, pint, sixteen ounces is a pint, right? So I got this and uh, I probably shouldn't have this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It's probably got some, a little bit of soy sauce, regular soy sauce in it, but maybe not. Mm, I don't see what it says it's got soy sauce in it, but anyway, I got some of this too. Thai style sweet chili sauce. Cause I bought some, Gluten-free egg rolls, not egg rolls, um, pot stickers. And I want to really enjoy them because a little bitty package is $8. So <laughs> I want to get some sauce that I'm really, really going to enjoy. So before I ruin them with that amino acid stuff, I'm going to taste it. You know, if I hate it, then I'll just 
see if anybody else wants it or throw it away. So that's all I got for Black Friday was the glass top cleaner, which I've been meaning to get, and I just saw it and grabbed it because I've been meaning to get it for a while. The pajamas, the two kinds of sauces, and the advent couch for my grandson. And I probably spent those, what, one, two, three, four, five things was close to 30, $30 $40 dollars. Cause I know just the three things were 30, were $20. It's just so depressing how expensive things are. And I've been spending money like water decorating my house, <laughs> but at least I'm going places like Dollar Tree and um, Hobby Lobby's got all their Christmas stuff for 60% off. So I'm not spending a fortune, but you know, like my table that you saw, let's see, I got the deer. Go back and look at my house decorations if you don't know what I'm talking about. I got a like a hammered copper looking deer for five dollars. I got a tray to put him on for a dollar twenty-five, and then five picks to go around. That's six a little over six bucks. And then I got some napkin rings from Hobby Lobby that were hmm, less than a dollar each, eighty cents or something. So I'm up to what, eleven, fifteen dollars ish. Placemats I got for seventy five percent off. So pretty much did my table for everything on my table except the tablecloth that I already had for twenty ish bucks or less. So that's not bad at all. And then I don't know how much I spent on the tree because I kept going back and getting more ornaments and ribbons and garlands and stuff you know i was like oh it needs more it needs more it needs some more lights <laughs> Alrighty, i got such a headache and i couldn't figure out what is giving me a headache and then i realized this i washed this is part of what i got from fashion this pajama -y looking thing that but i wanted to wear a sweater over it so it would look so pajama -y. and i got this green sweater from fashion also and i didn't wash the sweater and they must have used some really strong scented soap in it because it was just, I'm sitting in the car going, what is that smell and why do I have such a headache? Because I'm very sensitive to scents. <laughs> and it finally dawned on me, ah, it's the sweater. I didn't wash it first. I always, almost always wash my clothes before I wear them just because of that. Because they get this scent to them, especially if you get like used clothes somewhere they use some kind of fabric softener or detergent or something that, oh, the smell just kills me. It gives me a terrible headache. Like my daughter-in-law bought this laundry soap that had lavender sand in it. And I'm like, I can't use it. I put that up in the cupboard way high and use my scentless stuff. <laughs> if you want scent in your clothes with that stuff, you're going to have to do it yourself because I just can't, can't deal with particularly floral scents. If it's a fruit scent like cinnamon or apple or orange or sugar cookie or whatever, that kind of stuff, those don't bother me. But those floral scents I get, like if I go in like Macy's, Dillard's, Penny's, those kinds of stores, to get into the store you have to walk past the perfume counter and oh, I just have to walk really fast and hold my breath to get past that because oh I mean I just have this pounding headache just from wearing that sweater for maybe 45 minutes is all I just went over to Walmart picked up my order got the pajamas that was pretty much it oh and the soy sauce and stuff the fake soy sauce and so I wasn't gone more because Walmart's like five minutes from my house now it used to be 40 minutes from my house so now I got a Walmart close to home. <laughs> it's one thing about moving away from the kids. I, they live out in the country and I live in more of the suburbs. So I've got places a lot closer. Well, I, that was just it. Thought I'd hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and thought I'd show you a little bit of my Friday shopping. The rest of it's coming in the next couple days, you know, from either being mailed or Amazon delivered or whatever. So I got several things. And I didn't tell you all this, I don't think, but I heard yesterday that my roommate is moving out. I mean, it only makes sense because she's gonna be on the road all the time driving trucks and she might as well just 
put her stuff in storage. She found some place that she said it was only $60. And I'm like, must be somebody's garage or something because the storage units are definitely not that cheap. So anyway, I'm not sure when she's moving out, but she's moving out probably by the end of the year. So then I have to start the whole process all over. I'm going to look for, take my time. I think I can afford it, float it for a little while, especially if I really like, cut back, have my no spend January might be a little more imperative than I thought. Because <laughs> um, I really want somebody that's compatible, you know, she's more my age. She maybe likes to craft or watch movies with me or whatever. Somebody that, you know, I can do stuff with and be more of a companion. Because Kathy's never there, so, you know, she paid me rent, but that was about it. <laughs> so luckily she told me yesterday so I could get a couple things, Black Friday things. I got, there's some of what's coming. Um, I got a stick vacuum for $20 because I don't have a vacuum cleaner and she's going to take hers, obviously. So, and make, I don't have a, hand, a handheld, I don't have any kind of mixer. She's got one of those really nice KitchenAid ones, but I'm sure she'll take that too. So I just got like a little handheld one. So at least I knew before Black Friday that she wasn't going to be here so I could like, you know, backfill some of the things I need. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and let's have fun in December. Love y'all.